guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone and this has been a highly requested video. I have an iPhone 6 and it is the gold one, the 128 GB iPhone 6. I get a lot of questions on my case. It's by Casemate and it's just a plastic clear case. I got it at the AT&T store. So you guys have been requesting to see what's on my iPhone for a while. So my screensaver is just a black image and I'm going to go ahead and unlock my phone with my finger. I personally do not like groups, so I don't like having folders on my iPhone. You're going to see that I barely have any groups. I probably have maybe one folder with some apps on it, but I pretty much like to have all my apps laid out. My background is a picture of Times Square, and I took this picture randomly one day in the city, and I just love the way it came out, so that's just my background for right now. So the first row are pretty standard. The first one are my text messages. The second one is my address book. The third is the photo app that just comes with an iPhone. And then the fourth one is the camera. I have the calendar that just comes with the iPhone. I rarely really use the calendar. I don't have too many events on there. Then is the weather app. And let's check the weather for right now. It is currently 7 degrees here in New York. And that's pretty outrageous. It's going to be 3 degrees tonight. So definitely not looking forward to that. Next up is the maps, it's just the standard GPS that comes with an iPhone, and then next to that are the notes. I actually used to use the notes app a lot, I used to write little poems like on the train or just like my thoughts, but I don't know, I just haven't really had the time to write anything lately. And by the way, if you notice up at the top, I'm at 21%, my phone is always dying, I actually always carry a charger and a portable charger with me. I'm always on social media, so my phone's always dying. Next we have the videos app, which again, standard iPhone. The next one says games, but in here I have Passbook. Passbook is really cool because you can keep your like rewards cards on there, but I rarely use it. Game Center, never use. Stocks, ever use. There's FaceTime, iTunes Store, and the newsstand. Again, all apps that come with the iPhone. Next is the App Store. I like to keep this on the front page because if I ever want to download an app, it's right there. Next to that is the clock, which has an alarm clock, and I actually have tons and tons and tons of times already just set up on here. So basically, if I'm looking for a certain time, I just basically could find it in my alarm. Next to that is reminders. Barely use that. This next app is called My Timetable, and I purchased this in the App Store, and I use this for a school schedule. I actually haven't put in my new school schedule but I'm going to show you my old school schedule. So basically this is just an app that you can actually, you know, have your schedule. And I use this for school. So this isn't my current school schedule. This is actually from last semester. What's cool about the My Timetable is that if you unlock the portrait lock, you can actually see your school or your work schedule or whatever schedule you made all in like the week format, which is pretty awesome. Um, but I always have my orientation lock on. And I just really like this app. You can color coordinate everything and... I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier for me to stay organized. This next app is the Twitter app, and I'm really not sure how to pronounce that. Echophone or Echophone, but that's just my Twitter app, and I'm going to go ahead and tweet you guys right now. I don't really have that many followers on Twitter, um, but let's see. Filming a video for you guys. Say hi, guys. And my Twitter is beauty by underscore Rosita. Like I said, I don't have too many followers. I have 1,392 followers. I love retweeting you guys. So what I do is I just go in and retweet any tweet that you guys send me. So that's that. So that's my Twitter app. I don't like using the original Twitter app. It just bothers me. So I like that one. And it's free. Shout out to I'm Natalie XO. She just said hi. And next is Snapchat. Oh my god, I am obsessed with Snapchat. Snapchat is life. Literally, I'm just obsessed with it. I currently have 17 Snapchats. My Snapchat is Beauty by Rosita. My Snapchat is public, so you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm usually on there all day. Like, I snap the weirdest things. And I love, like, writing to you guys back. It's pretty awesome. So that's the first page. And on the bottom row, I keep the phone, Safari, which is the internet, my mail, I have like four mail accounts, and then my Instagram app, which is my favorite app of all time. I'm literally on Instagram like every hour on the hour. Like, if you want to know where I'm at, I'm on Instagram all day. Evelyn J. Alfaro just said, hey boo. So I love just going through my Instagram and seeing what's going on in the world. There's just some funny things, some inspirational things, some 
crazy things. My Instagram is Beauty by Rosita. Okay, next page we got music, which I barely keep any music on here. The next app is utilities, and I have the compass, voice memos, health tips, and podcasts, things I never use. Next we have the calculator. After that we have TD Bank, which is the bank that I have. After that we have the YouTube app, which of course is one of my favorites as well. I love watching YouTube videos. I've been watching YouTube videos since 2011. I'm absolutely hooked, so I use the YouTube app. I have Vine, which I haven't used in a long time. I don't know why I have three notifications there. I have no idea. Next is Pixel Romatic. I'm not sure how you say it, but I don't really use this app anymore. It's just a photo editing app. I don't know. I just haven't deleted it, but really I don't use it. Next is the tip calculator, which is kind of funny. Um, whenever I'm like in a big group or we're splitting a check and we're trying to figure out the tip per person, I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier to... Um, hi, Miriam, Jasmine. It makes it a lot easier to have the tip calculator. You can literally just put like 15 people or 10 people and then adjust the percentage of tip that you want to have. Hi to Lavish and Flawed. So yeah, that's the tip calculator. Pretty basic. It was free. Next is Camera Plus, which is an app that I use pretty frequently for my photos. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what Camera Plus does. So once you have your photo in this little section, like you've chosen the one you want, you click on this little paintbrush, and that's where you begin to edit. And so I like to use Auto or Flash or Portrait. Usually Auto works. I like Camera Plus because you can flip the photo so that it's not always in the same angle and they have some pretty cool filters if you're into taking pictures of the sky or landscapes you definitely need camera plus because they have some awesome filters I don't really use it for my selfies but it is a great app and I believe it's $1.99 in the App Store next two I have Pixitch and PicFrame these are the apps that I use to make collages I normally like using PicFrame because what you do is you choose let's say a four picture collage go ahead and share and then save so I love using PicFrame and PicStitch they're pretty much the same thing PicFrame is just a little easier because you get to just select while you're in your camera roll next I have Shazam which is one of my favorite apps whenever you're hearing a song and you want to know what it's called boom you hit Shazam and it'll actually tell you the song it'll match it so I love that and it's free then I have Fit Radio, which I don't use anymore. I had a trial, I loved it, and I stopped using it because I just never went around to buy it. The next app I have is called Music Download. I used to use this app to download music on the go on my phone. Hi, Shan, that girl Shan. Um, basically, you use Music Download to download music on your phone. It's kind of hard to explain, and I don't want to get into it right now because it's pretty lengthy. But what you do is you go on it and then you go on to a browser. So what I do is I use mp3skull.com and you can look for a song, download it, and it's going to download it into this app. It's a lot of work. I know. That's why I don't really use it anymore. I just use SoundCloud, which is right under it. Next, I have Pandora, which is where I listen to music. You type in an artist or a genre or a song and it'll kind of create like a playlist depending on what you chose. So if you choose Jay-Z, you know, the next song might be Kanye West. So it basically just picks and chooses songs based off what you chose originally. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Pandora is. Next, I have I Translate. So when I was taking Italian, I would use this. King Monica says, hey, Rosita. So hi. Um, I Translate was awesome because I used to have to give, like, not speeches, but, like, paragraphs in Italian. And so I would practice, like, on the train with I Translate. But I wouldn't suggest using it all the time, especially for your homework or your tests, because it's not always perfect or right. But it's, it's good to just practice. Next, I have NYC Way, which is what I use for the train map. Even though I live here in New York, sometimes I still get lost or sometimes I still don't know what trains to take. So what's awesome is that it has all these cool little, like, apps. I mean, you have movies, showtimes, restrooms. Like, it literally has everything in this. And I, I really haven't explored this app. But what I use it for is I click on Transit. And then I click on Transit Maps. And then Subway Map. So this is the Subway Map the full entire thing and you can just zoom in and just see you know where the stops are you know if it's local if it's express what trains you can catch so I really like this app it basically is just like a guide to New York City but I really just use it for the map next I have SoundCloud I love SoundCloud I have a SoundCloud account it's Rosita Applebaum and I'll leave it down below and you can basically see like my playlist I haven't really updated in a while but you basically just add songs to your playlist or you like them and then you can just listen to them on the go. Really, really awesome. 
I don't have Spotify, so that's as close to Spotify as it gets for me. Next, I have Book It, which is what I use to book my vacations. It's a really awesome app website. I love it. I always get really great deals um, to go to Dominican Republic, Mexico. Like, they literally have everything, and I love it. It's called Book It. You need it. It's really awesome. It's like an Expedia. Next, I have Venmo, which is also a really cool app. What's cool about this app is that it's like PayPal, but it's instant. So what you do is it's free. You sign up for Venmo. You put your credit card information. And let's say I want to give you 10 bucks for gasoline. I can just, you know, send you $10 and it'll go to your account. And it's really cool because it asks you, like, what are you sending money for? And, you know, you can just put lunch, drinks, whatever you want to pay them for. So that's pretty cool. It's called Venmo and I like it. This is Dub Smash, and I've never actually opened this app, so I don't even want to get into it because it's all over Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you probably have no idea what this is, but it's like you like sing along or you like you lip sync to things. I'm surprised I haven't gotten on it because you guys know I love to lip sync. Next is Uber. I love Uber. Uber is a taxi service, it's like a cab service. They have it pretty much everywhere. And what you do is you just click on your location and it'll tell you like there's an uber five minutes away you request the car the car will come to you and you just basically pay with your credit card so you don't have to pay them cash you don't have to tip them it just gets you from point a to point b i actually have a code for uber i'll leave the little details down below i believe you get your first ride free up to thirty dollars it's been really cold so i've been using uber like crazy lately it's a little pricey but it's super like luxurious you can request like a nice car it tells you who your driver is and it's just really smooth and you don't have to be outside waiting for a cab like hailing a cab like you see in the TV shows next is a plus signature and you can just use this to add text to a picture you can also use a plus signature to sign things but I use it to add text so I like that one a plus signature I believe it was free next is nail lounge and that's where I get my nails done and they do have an app where you can like collect your points and the first time you use it or you download it I think you get 10% off. Quick is another app that I use to add text to my photos. The next one is called Big Day Light, and I get a lot of questions on this one. Basically, it's like a countdown, and you get to choose your picture. You get to choose, you know, how many days. So I had this set up for Cali. So you count down to something, but after it passes, obviously it says since. Insta size is cool because if you have a full body picture that you want to put on Instagram and you don't want to crop it, it basically allows you to save the picture with a little bit of a border so you can actually fit the whole picture on Instagram. So I love using Insta size for outfits that I put on Instagram or just if I want to fit the whole picture. Next I have this followers app. This app is pretty cool because it lets you know who unfollowed you, who's not following you back, who has blocked you. So it's really awesome and also once you hit a certain amount of followers on Instagram, you know how you get the number. So mine is at 43.6. I like to know exactly how many I have. So right now I have 43,685 followers but it doesn't let you know that on the Instagram app. So I like using this app to just check to see how many followers I have and yeah who has unfollowed me and next I have square ready it's the same as the insta size it basically just crops your photos so that it can fit on Instagram next I have iBooks what's cool about iBooks is that you can also download your PDFs onto it so if for school like you know the teacher or the professor sends me a PDF I can actually download it right onto my phone and read it on the go next I have Yelp I'm pretty sure you guys all know what Yelp is you can check into places there's like discounts where I get my Brazilian Every time I check into Yelp, I get like a discount, so that's why I have that on my phone. Next, I have photo lettering, which is also another app to add text. I have a lot of like text adding things. Shorty Baby0225 said hi. Hi. Next, I have PayPal. You guys know what PayPal is. You pay people. Next is ProCam. I don't even know what that is. I just have it there. It's probably just like a photo editing app. Next is Holt Look. I love Holt Look. Oh my god. I love it. It's awesome. I like basically live in this beauty section. There's always like really good deals. For example, right now they have Mali Beauty and you can get everything like 50% off, 30% off. So I'll also leave a link down to Hope Look. Next is Mac Tracker. And this basically is just a way to find out like what your computer, like the software it has, what ports it has. So, you know, if you're out looking for a certain cable that you need for your computer, Next is the Apple Store app, which is pretty cool because you can purchase things in the Apple Store with your phone. So you can actually check out for a case with your phone by taking a picture of the barcode. So it's free, and I think it's pretty awesome. You can also sign up for Genius Bar appointments on there. I'm not going to really talk about this one, Afterlight or Pix 
Play Pro. Like, literally, I've just downloaded so many apps on here that I don't use. So, these three right here, Afterlight, Pix Play Pro, and Pix Play Post, I don't even know why I have them. Sometimes I just download apps to see if they're going to work for what I want. This next one is called Instasave, which is pretty awesome. If you're going through Instagram and you see like a really funny video and you want to repost it, instead of asking them to send it to you, which is a little weird, you can basically just copy the Instagram link, paste it onto here, and you can repost the video. And I like this one because it doesn't have that little like repost weirdness thing going on. You know how, you know, if you're on Instagram and you see someone repost something, it has like that weird bar that says it was reposted. You know what I'm saying? Next, I have Netflix, which I have no idea why I have it on my phone. I've never opened it on my phone, but I have it just in case. You just never know. Next, I have Ulta. Of course, I have the Ulta app. So on the next page, I have Touch Blur. Basically, it's just a blurring app, and, you know, it's really awesome. If you take a picture of your car, you want to, like, blur out your license plate, boom, Touch Blur. I got you. Next is InstaSize Video. Same as the InstaSize. So if you have a video that you want to post on Instagram, but you know how Instagram like zooms into the video, you want to have the whole thing in frame, use InstaSize Video to just crop it. Next I have the Just Fab app. It's just like a shoe website. I'm not subscribed to it anymore, but I have it just in case. Next I have Facetune, which is the app that I pretty much use all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a picture that I just took. So what you do is you use the smoothing tool to kind of smooth out any imperfections that you have. What I mainly use Facetune for is this little section called details and I really like to make my eyes stand out and so you use the detail to just bring those features out. I like to bring out like my hair, my collarbone, my earrings, but especially my eyes. With makeup it's really important that you see the detail and so I like using Facetune with the details because you get to see your eyelashes and your eyeshadow a lot more. I know a lot of people have a hard time having the colors actually show up on camera so Facetune is awesome. I believe it's free. I'm really not sure. So Facetune is the one that I mainly use and this next one is the only other one that I use for my photos and it's called Line Camera. So Line Camera is automatically going to assume that you want your picture really bright and smooth so I automatically just eliminate that and then what I use Line Camera for is right here. Boom. FX which is like the effects <laughs> and then I use clear so you can make it really clear so that's normal I like to kind of put it at like 30% or you know 40% and it's just gonna make everything a lot more contrasted and it brings out all the colors so I really like using that for the contrast and then you can also kind of make everything a little more saturated use Instagram's built-in features to edit a little more so I like to have the saturation pretty high to give me a nice little color and then I also like to increase the warmth this is just gonna give you more color next I have crop VS which I have no idea what it is <laughs> next I have Waze, which I'm not gonna open because it automatically opens your location but it's just a GPS I love it it's the main GPS that I use when I'm in a car when someone asks me to give directions I use Waze. it's free it tells you when there's cops nearby my dog opened the door um, and it's just really awesome like there's little cartoons just download it you'll have a blast it's really fun it's a GPS but it's really fun next I have dumb ways and it's dumb ways to die I think that's what it's called yeah dumb ways to die and I love playing this game I'm obsessed with it it's just like my jam I usually use it on my iPad but I wanted to download it on here just to show you guys but it's just the cutest game ever you guys need to play dumb ways like it's awesome it's just so fun it's you just become addicted. Next I have Hop Stop, which is a train bus kind of helper. Like you basically put your location where you want to get to. It'll tell you what trains to take, when the next train's coming. It tells you where to get off. It tells you everything you need to know. So it's just like a direction app. Next I have Makeup Social, which I haven't used in forever. It's like an Instagram, but for makeup lovers and makeup junkies. I have Grubhub to order food, which I never use. I just usually call the restaurant. I've never really used PigJointer or SaveGram, so I'm not even gonna open them because, I don't know, I just download them. When I'm desperate to find an app, I just start downloading a whole bunch. I end up with a bazillion, gajillion apps I don't use. Next, I have Poshmark, which is where you can sell clothes. And I know I said I'm gonna add stuff to my Poshmark, and I still haven't, but I will. Basically just, you know, you get to sell your closet for free. Like, you know, it's basically like an eBay, but 
easier. You get to sell things to people a lot easier. Next, I have Sign Now, which is what I use to sign documents on the go. So if a company you know, sends me a document or a press release that I have to sign, I use Sign Now on my phone to just add my signature and the dates. Next, I have Textgram Free. You can use Textgram Free to create like a note or like if you want to tell people or tell your Instagram something long and you don't want to just put it on a photo caption, you could use Textgram Free to basically Instagram text. Last page, I have Video Crop, which is just like the InstaSize video, but I don't even use Video Crop. I only use InstaSize video. Next, I have Shop Savvy, which is basically a way to find out if there's another place or another retailer that sells what you're looking for cheaper. Next, I have Sephora. Of course. Of course, Rose has Sephora. Uh, why wouldn't I have Sephora? I love Sephora. I love the app. The Sephora app is really dangerous because it saves your credit card information, so it makes it really easy for you to just go on there, see what's new, and just check out. And I actually signed up for the new Flash flash shipping it's like free express two-day shipping for like Rouge members so it gives me more of an excuse to shop more <laughs> and then I have daily horoscope okay I'm really into horoscopes I don't know about you guys I'm a Scorpio Scorpio I'm not gonna say we're the best but we're pretty much the best um, but I love daily horoscope you basically just get to see your horoscope for the day so mine's Scorpio I get to see yesterday's today's tomorrow's I get to see my compatibility with someone. So boom, Taurus, Scorpio, crazy mix. And the last app that I have on here is Followers Plus, which is the same thing as this other one that I have, which is called Followers. Same concept, tells you who unfollowed you, who blocked you, when they unfollowed you, who you're following, who's not following you back. I like to know things like this, because if you're my friend and you won't follow me, that's me from my block. <laughs> I'm recording 40 minutes worth, so I hope this video isn't too, too long. But that's what's on my iPhone. I pretty much just download random apps all the time, just experimenting with apps. And my favorite apps are Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, obviously. Let me know if you didn't catch a name of a certain app. I will definitely just comment back. So that's what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys found this video helpful and somewhat fun and not completely useless and boring. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. What's going on with this? It looks... So, so when you, so when you, so when you turn on my phone, um, the, bleh. and then after that is the settings, standard, rem uh, website, app, if you're a creep, you're a creep. <laughs> you have reached the voicemail box. Okay, bye. What am I still filming for?